first of all, what even qualifies someone to be leading us to do the singing is not even first of all about your voice. Mm. It's about how much the word dwells in you. Dwells in you that qualifies you to come and do the leading. I have ministered in church one time that I sang one song ministration. I sang mm. and um, it touched Papa's heart, and he said he will give me five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I want, I want 5K. <laughs> you mentioned your finger. Yeah, he said, how much money do I want? Oh, Meshire Radio, Meshire Radio. I bring in now, Meshire Radio. Okay, folks, I want to welcome you all to chat with Seth, with your brother and your friend, Sir Isaac. And as usual, today we have a wonderful guest in our studio. And we want to engage him. We want to know more about him and then what he does uh, in our space. I mean the gospel space. So without wasting so much time, let's go for a quick short break. When we come back, I will properly introduce my guest. All right, guys, welcome back to Chad with Seth with your brother and your friend, Sir Isaac. So, as I mentioned uh, in my earlier introduction, today we have one of the amazing gospel talent in Ghana, in this studio right now, uh, by name Noah Kweku Buache Yadom. Quite long. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's one of the amazing gospel talents I've listened to in recent times. Mm. And I'm so happy to have him in the studio with us today. Bro. Yes, sir. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for having me. We bless God. Hallelujah. So if uh, someone is watching us for the first time mm -hmm. and he hears of the name Noah mm -hmm. Kweku Wache mm -hmm. Yadom, mm -hmm. what should come to mind? Okay, so um, if you hear about Noah Kwekubwachi Adam, he's a worship leader. Mm. He's a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ okay. in songs. Okay. So we preach the message of Christ in songs. So I lead worship. I, I minister the gospel in music. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, where did the singing journey start from? Is it from bed? Because most of the time we hear, oh, at my infancy stage, <laughs> uh, how did your own start? Okay, so I think it's the same story uh, with me. Yes, please. I was born into a family of music. My mom sings, okay. my dad sings, and so I started um, singing very early. Okay. Yes, please. I think um, at the age of seven, that was when I actually started singing in church. Okay. Yes, please. And I mean, from that time, after now, we've, we've been singing <laughs> oh. in church. Yes, please. And serving in church by the grace of God. Okay. My uncle, back, uh, where did you start school? Where are okay. you from? Okay, so I I am from Kokofu, Menzase. Okay. Yes, please, in the Shanta region. Okay. I'm going say East District. Okay. Yes, please. And I schooled my primary in my hometown. Okay. Yes, please. And then we moved to Takrade. Okay. Where I continue with my primary JHS. Mm. Yeah, Air Force Complex. They changed it to Air Force Station Basic. Mm. And then I went to secondary school, back to Kokofu again, oh. upon Memorial Senior High School. Came back to um, Winneba oh. to do degree in music education. Ooh. Yes, please. And then from Winneba, um, we moved from Takradi to Accra, did my national service. And then I've been in Accra since then, after wow. my national service in 2019. Wow. Wow. Is it that you have so much passion for music that you decided to do music at the tertiary oh, level? Yes, 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 yes. 
I really have passion for it. Music, I think, to me, it's not just um, singing. Singing. Yeah. I believe it's also an area where God has called me to mm-hmm. um, and dispense his message to mm-hmm. the people and so, or to his people. And so I also, I mean, thought of I mean, making it a bit more professional. Mm-hmm. And so I had to go and study music in the university to get more knowledge about what I want to do. Okay. Yes, okay. please. So now that if you've gone to the university, you studied music, is this something you are going to work with uh, professionally? Uh, some I know some who do music in t- uh, doing their tertiary mm. uh, levels. Some are lecturers in some of the private universities. Some are also uh, using those education uh, at different places. Some in church, mm. some at uh, corporate. Uh, levels. So, mm. how are you going to do your own? Or okay, is this something so, you are working Okay, so on? with me, or uh, for me, it, um, I am a professional teacher, music teacher, Ooh. right now. Yeah, I have a degree in music. Yeah. Okay, so, I graduated from the University of Education, mm. Winneba. So, I have the degree in music where I can teach as a teacher in secondary school. So, in Ooh. any schools that I will be employed by GES Ooh. if I apply for wow. yeah posting stuff yeah but when it comes to ministry mm. I'm not I'm not kind of doing anything it, yeah, it at the moment as in working to get paid or okay. something no 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 but is this something you are looking at in the future oh no 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 not at all mm. <laughs> no so if if my church <laughs> uh, by the way I'm a Presbyterian so if my I was church, also born in Presby my oh. parents are still Presbyterians wow. Wow. Yeah, but then you know we switched <laughs> along the line to charismatic <laughs> so like uh, what i was saying was if assuming mm. my church my church should uh, need the services of a teacher or a tutor in music mm. and then they 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 come in contact with you or they ask me to oh that one now charge you uh-huh. <laughs> you see that's what i was talking about <laughs> That's what I would try to do. I thought that may, probably talking about, let's say, inviting you to come and minister, minister. No. or serving in my local church. No, I don't take money. Or okay. don't charge. Okay. But if it's about come and teach the choir, train the choir yes. or something like that. That is what I meant. That's one. I mean, it's it works. So. Mm. So I, I okay. okay. So after school service, how has life oh <laughs> life has been amazing god has always been good yeah i mean in and out of season god is always good i mean so we always give praise at all times <laughs> we always give praise at all times i mean life it would never be you know i mean smooth smooth yeah, yeah. nobody will have it like that all the time yeah. Yeah, but as long as I mean Jesus is in the boat, mm. he will sail with you. Okay. So we see Jesus and we don't see the storms. Yeah. So that's how life is has been for me. Yes, please. We thank God. We thank God. So let me ask you, uh, how has the music journey been so far? Oh, it's um, it's been good. It's been good. It's been good. I I started. Let me see. I started singing for for. For a long time i've mm-hmm. been singing for a long time yeah for a while now i mean six i mean six at the age of six seven singing in church and then you know in in presby mm-hmm. i mean switching to charismatic with a prophet or with men of god i mean in the in the charismatic ministries and you know singing being invited here and there singing in in school to our singing and you know blessing god's people and all of that it's it's been a wonderful journey i've really enjoyed okay mm. speaking of the switch yeah. from presby to, <laughs> to, charismatic, to charismatic we see that most often mm. in our churches mm. uh, i don't know what the issue really is mm. But this is something very worrying and alarming as well. Okay. Because 
we are expected to use our gift mm. in our local churches. But mm. once in a while, something comes up, mm. and then you see the youth switch churches. <laughs> in your case, what really happened? Did you? Is it that you had an issue with an oh, elderly no, no, person, <laughs> the pastor, or church <laughs> member, or something? What happened? Uh, no, that's all. I, I believe that I mean God is the one who directs the steps of the mm. righteous. Okay, so he knows, I mean, the destinies of people mm. and where he wants to direct them to mm. and the people and the places he even directs them to, to fulfill his purpose. Mm. Okay, so it, in the eyes of people or in the sight of men, it might look like you probably are switching churches mm. or something, but it's one body. We are all Christians. We are all one people. So, um I, to, for me, I would say that it was, I mean, God's divine purpose. Okay. Yeah. Letting me move out from praise be to go to the charismatic side okay. for his own, I mean, fulfilling of his purpose and stuff like that. So I didn't, as at that time, I was even very young. Yeah. I was very young. I think when I moved from um, praise be, I was around 14, 15 years. Oh, yeah, so I was very, very young. I didn't offend anybody. I didn't cause any <laughs> issue, and no one also offended me. It was one prophet, his name is Prophet Joseph Amo in okay. Takrade, yes, who used to come and have um, all night with a Methodist church okay. at our hometown. So when he comes around, there were some people from the Presby church mm. that would go for they are all night. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, they know me and how I, I sing at church and all of that. So they came to inform my parents that Obachi for Tonyum Pa, my name called All Night TV, not Uncle Tonyum, my prophet. No? And I say, yeah. there was one woman like that. She would always want me to go out and <laughs> sing. My parents were not like yeah. that, though. <laughs> So it was through that woman I went for that all night. And when I went, I really enjoyed the man of God. Oh. So I started following him and I liked him. And yes. I guess he pushed you. <laughs> yeah, he pushed you. So he <laughs> came to inform my parents like he wants yeah. me to, I mean, be being with him okay. through the ministry, doing the ministry and stuff. Okay. Like that. okay. That was how yes. I switched to, yes, please. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, how, how do you see the gospel industry? Oh, in general, I I think I think um it's 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 amazing, mm. it's wonderful. I mean, recently we see how um our senior brother, uh, Minister Joe Metal, did an amazing program at the stadium, mm. and I think it's 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 a plus to the gospel fraternity mm. and what God is using the men of God in the gospel industry to do. I see it as very very amazing and i believe that um god is still expanding mm. and is still going to expand just as some of us are also coming, coming up, up yeah. we strongly believe that it's still going to expand and expand because the bible says that the gospel is going to cover the earth mm. like the waters yeah. covers the earth so it, it's going to spread and god is still raising men so it's it's, it's going it's going to spread and we believe that the industry and the gospel music fraternity is still going to be powerful. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if I should ask you to mm -hmm. uh, give me at least three uh, people who have helped you in your life, and mm -hmm. you mean your musical life, by mm -hmm. way of mm -hmm. mentorship, mm -hmm. uh, who would those people will be? Is it supposed to be musicians or in general? In general. Oh, yeah. okay. So I would say um Prophet Joseph Amo. Okay. Yes, please. And um uh, Pastor Paul Amako. Okay. Yeah. Reverend Samuel Kwame Sasu. Oh. Yes, please. And um Prophet Bernard L. Bernard Nelson Oh. Yes, please. Apostle Vincent Barnaman. Oh. And Prophet um Prophet Amasa, Chris Amasa. The list is endless. Yeah, a, a lot, a lot of people <laughs> like I mentioned. Oh, I might even forget a lot. 
<laughs> that, a lot wonderful. of people of yes please have that's really wonderful. um been helpful to me really really helpful mm. to my music ministry to um apostle richard come you to a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot. that's nice that's yes, nice yeah do you think uh, the, the the church as a body mm. uh, offer the necessary support to musicians oh yes they do they mm. do yes please they do the church as a body i mean the church the church is doing amazing mm. in helping i mean without the church we we can't we can the music can't go anywhere mm. yeah so if we see i mean music ministry going wide going global it's the church mm. it's the church is the body of christ is the church so the church is really doing amazing to help the music ministry grow okay i asked that question because uh, mm. they have there, there, there are some of yeah. your colleagues mm -hmm. i mean some of the artists who complain that mm -hmm. their local churches mm -hmm. close their eyes going to mm -hmm. quote close their eyes mm -hmm. to them when they want to embark on a certain journey, journey. or project oh, okay. and this is something very worrying because mm -hmm. i believe uh, as christians as uh, members of mm -hmm. local churches or the church in general mm -hmm. uh, the the main purpose of fellowship is to be there for each other mm -hmm. and then uh, when you see or you hear mm. these things from uh, an artist, it, it's quite worrying. Mm. And, and I think this is something that should be looked at. That is why I asked that, ask question. that question. I don't know too. about you, how yeah. you relate okay, with okay. your so church. With, with me, I mean, the church that I am in, I mean, Prophet Bernard L. Bernard, I have seen him even sponsor people the whole members, yeah. program the person did mm. paid for everything that's the the the, the program as in the concert that yeah. the minister the held in the church yeah. paid for everything the person used the music instruments in the church the cameras the the sound everything, everything. and he he didn't pay anything Wow. He actually dedicated a service for him to do, mm -hmm. and asked the church members to come for him to do the um, program. The program. So wow. I believe that um, I don't know about others. Uh, uh, others, but I believe there are still men of God in 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 the body of Christ who truly support music ministers, and I have witnessed one. So okay. I've witnessed one. Okay. So yes, please. Okay. But but. Uh, do you think there may be an issue when it comes to service from the part of because this is character <laughs> is part of it that's true uh, your character may not be good that's true. i've seen some artists uh, who don't minister at their churches as mm. it is expected it's of them you see them here you see them here mm. at the time that the church needs them mm. you don't see them you don't find them and these things i think contribute to, to some of these things, these so things yeah. i think we, we must mm. all look at it if you want your church the mm. local church <laughs> to be of great help to you and your ministry these mm. are some of the things you need to look at service is key mm. service is key sacrifice that's true. sacrifice it's very very important yeah it's sacrifice very, very we important. must all sacrifice at all times because mind you they look at all these things you can't just come to church today Next week, you will not be there. The following week, you come and pass, and then you run away and go and play a show somewhere. <laughs> ah, a day. A day. A day now, say, oh, yeah, I shall uh, you serve it. <laughs> a musician. You don't do that. Eh? Don't do that. I believe when we do things properly, we do things mm. well, our men and women of God will also open their doors That's and true. arms unto That's us. True. Even wow. with, the, um, with, with my colleagues or with others who um are seen not staying mm. in church and probably moving around yeah. yeah you know like sometimes you don't even know why mm. uh -huh. and um uh, until i've sat down to listen to someone to know why they do what they do mm. i don't try to comment or even um, tell them to oh, sit down and yeah. let your look at your support you because i mean there could be other people who are also sitting down yeah but the local church is not supporting <laughs> them uh, so like i said until i personally sit down with somebody to listen to the his story mm. and to get to know the root of 
I mean, the root cause for what, for why they do what they do, mm. I really don't conclude. Yeah. And so, I mean, whatever be the case or whatever that it's going on, whether um, a local church is helping or a local church is not helping, or a minister is not sitting down or a minister is not sitting down, all that we all need to do is to pray for everybody to be in sync, I mean, with the Spirit oh, of yeah. God, so that, I mean, everything will be done diligently, everything will be done, I mean, orderly, and okay. all of that, to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, is this call as whether pastors must pay musicians <laughs> and instrumentalists in their churches? What is your opinion about it? What do you think about it? Do you think it's something we must uh, uh, embrace or welcome? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> to, well, with this with this question. Eh? <laughs> If, if I want to talk about it, it will, it will be very long, but then I'll try as yeah, much as possible summarize it, yeah. to summarize it. Okay, so um, when we look at the Bible in the Old Testament, mm. there were people who were assigned, mm. all right, to, um, um, we call them um, um, helpers. Mm. Okay, so it's, 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 it's ministry of helps, mm. singers, ashes. All of these things are called ministry of it. And even in the New Testament, mm. it is instituted in the local church. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Now, with, um, whether you are to be paid or not to be paid, I mean, every church, I mean, have their dogma, mm. as in their principles yes. and how they, they, do they, they do their things. Okay. So, me personally, I don't want to be paid. Okay. In my local church. Okay. Okay. Because I believe that I mean God gave me the gift to serve mm. His okay. church. Yeah. Yes. What I need to do is um I mean the stuff that I've learned in school. Okay. So whether it's music, I can do one or two businesses here and there mm. to you know supporting myself, generating some little source of income for mm. myself. That will sustain me. If my church wants to appreciate what I do, I mean, that's fine. But to say that the church should pay me for singing, no, because Colossians 3.16, okay, the Bible um, talks about we um, letting the word of God, which is the message of Christ, dwell in our hearts richly. And then he says that admonishing one another in spiritual songs. So... Uh, in spiritual songs, singing psalms, making melodies in your heart to God. So, um, in the New Testament, the work of singing is not segregated to only singers or talented singers. Mm -hmm. The reason why we choose somebody to lead, to sing, is because you have been gifted with the talent of singing. Mm -hmm. All right, and that one, when you come to the local church, we select you to come and lead us do the singing. Mm -hmm. So the singing is is not actually any um, thing that anybody at all can, can do. Chosen. It okay. Any like so it's not the, so the, peculiar. It's not so peculiar. <laughs> it's not it's not a peculiar office mm -hmm. like an apostle or a teacher yeah. or an evangelist, which Jesus Christ gave to the church mm. after his resurrection the the singing ministry all of these the music ministry they are called uh, helps ministry okay. they help in the local church to for the for i mean for the edification mm. of the church all right so when you come all right and you are leading you are leading the congregation to sing mm. so the 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 Ephesians chapter I think 5 is 18, also tells that we sing to one another. Mm. Okay, so the singing in the local church in the New Testament actually is to sing to one another. So mm. everybody sings. Okay. So in the local church, in the New Testament, everybody is a music minister because it is the word of God that dwells in our hearts richly mm. that after we have received the message, the message and the message has dwelt in our hearts richly, we sing spiritual songs. We sing them as songs mm. to one another. another. And so you being chosen to come and lead us to do the singing 
is anybody at all because can be chosen it, yeah <laughs> so the 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 the, the what qualify first of all what even qualify someone to be leading us to do the singing is not even first of all about your voice mm. it's about how much the word dwells in you dwells in you that qualifies you to come and do the leading so now we look at okay so his voice is i mean her voice mm. he has he has i mean some stuff to do of knowing how to you know sing melodies mm. and okay so then lead us to do because you have the knowledge in the singing so this one if you understand it from this perspective i believe that everybody will know that you have a part to play in the local church mm. okay you have a part to play you have been saved okay by god with his precious blood when jesus died on mm. the cross after your salvation he gave you a gift to save the body mm. all right he didn't just leave you like that because everyone has a potential through which god can use to be a blessing to the body and to the world so when you come to be part of the local church you have to contribute so the Bible says that each part contributes. Mm. All right. So the leg, the hand, all of us, mm. we are part. So the one that is holding the, that is the hand, the eye, and all of us, we are all connected to the body. So we all contribute. And it's our contribution that make the church grows. Mm. So when we all come to the church, we are all coming to serve. Everyone is coming to serve. Everybody but, is coming. But to let serve. me ask you. <laughs> This is a, a very wonderful conversation. <laughs> but you see, a member or an artist or a musician will be serving in the church. Mm. Wholeheartedly mm. sacrifice mm. great service. Mm. And his needs mm. will not be provided. Mm. Sometimes these needs may be something trivial, small. small. Okay. But these things will not be looked at. A guest minister, a guest instrumentalist will just be invited to the church mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. the, the amount they will call for that person, mm -hmm. you'll be shocked. Is wow. it not painful? <laughs> well, so with, with that one, that's why um, maybe <clears throat> I'm very fortunate to be in the, in mm. the right church because hardly will um, my pastor um, invite someone to mm. come and sing in this church. Because he believes, yeah, he in believes the, in the gifts in, yeah. in nature, in those that he has. I mean, so he rarely invites people, unless maybe it's a choir program or something. That mm. even that one, it will not be him. Maybe the choir, it's the choir that we want to invite the uh, uh, that guest minister to yeah. come, but not him. Him like he himself. Okay. Yeah. So I can't. I can't talk for. <laughs> <laughs> for other people but for me um <clears throat> i have ministered in church one time that i sang one song ministration i sang mm. and um it touched papa's heart and he said he will give me five thousand oh. and he gave me he has given me, <laughs> yeah yeah he called me he called he, after the ministration with the choir i sang this song by a booker I am one of them. These are not two ages. You know, they pass me by. And immediately, I mean, we were done with the ministration. He came up and said, Hey, wow, this song has really touched me. Wow. What do you. So he, he told me that he, um, he was discussing with his wife what they can do for me for the ministration mm. of that. And I said, Oh, I need our own body. <laughs> 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 and. <laughs> I said I want I want five k. <laughs> you mentioned your yeah, finger. Yeah, he said how much money do I want? I said I want five. K. I needed some quick money yeah, to go and do, do something, some work on my songs. So, so oh, I said okay, so consider it done. That. And that's not the first or that, the last. Yeah, I mean, some even some of the church members. I have seen some. I mean, elders in the church. I'm using elders as mm, in grown yeah. up, not as in they are elders in yeah. the church, as as an office or a calling yeah. or something. But in paying for more or anymore, I've seen some of them call for, I mean, taking the choir out, the whole choir. And we are more than hundred. I think we are more than one fifty choir. Wow. He he takes that out. Alisa Hotel or something like that some time ago, for a buffet. 
Mm-hmm. Musicians are taken out and randomly. I mean, he they does do, it. it. He does it. I mean, it's it's a blessing. That's that's so it's wonderful to hear. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Spray Life Revival Ministries. Yeah. We are located at Adenta SDH. I have to visit one of yeah. the Yeah, Prophet Bernard. He's, he's, he's doing, doing so much God in the kingdom of God. He's yeah. doing so much. So we see all his works and then we, we, we love him, we appreciate him. Mm. I pray God gives him more resources to do more. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So let's let's come to your music. Uh you have a new song out there. Yes, please. <laughs> I'll bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Yes, sir. I'll bring you now. Mm. I was telling you behind the scenes that this mm. one quotation from the Bible that I love so much mm. because I believe as people and children of God, we should always uh, be thankful for what we have and where we are in life. And, mm. uh, and seeing this message uh, from the Bible and, and uh, hearing it in a song, mm. it, it, it makes it so wonderful. So the first time I heard the song, I was like, wow, this is so wonderful. So I'm, I'm glad I have you here to talk about the song. <laughs> I'll Thank bless you. the Lord. How? How did it happen? How did you get the song? I know it's a popular message from the Bible, but how was it like? Okay, so first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to um, a father of mine. Okay. His name is um, Reverend Samokwa Misasu. Okay. Yes, please. He actually preached a message um, on praise, hmm. unlimited praise okay. and thanksgiving. <clears throat> and he preached this message from Psalm 34. Yeah. Yes, please. And so it was out of that message mm. he preached and the word i ate mm. i drew inspiration from, from that message to get this song so i was leading worship at church one sunday morning and <clears throat> that song just popped up i'll bless the lord at all times mm. i'll bless the lord and his praise shall continually be my and it's it's just verbatim from mm. the king james version yes please so that's that's how the 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 whole song came, came about. about. Yes, please. That's how the whole song came about. The message which was preached was an amazing message. <laughs> yes, please. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I really can't forget about how that experience was. Sure, so okay. Yes, please. <clears throat> and and how has the feedback been so far? By the grace of God, I mean everyone who hears this song. I mean, likes the song. Mm. I mean, the 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 feedback has been so so amazing. It's blessing a lot of people. Myself, I was not even <laughs> like looking at it that way. Mm. But I mean, although it's a song that's really, it's really on my heart, yeah. really blessing me. But when the song came out and the way people were like, "Hey, who <laughs> sang this song?" Someone told me he thought. Like it's a song that has been sung Sang, from one yeah. from one old musician like that long ago. I said, "Oh, it's it's a current musician. <laughs> <laughs> it's a current musician who just um, released it, and mm-hmm. so it's it's a blessing. We thank God for that." Okay. Do you have any plan towards that song? Yes, please. Yes, please. I am planning towards. Um, officially recording it like okay. a live recording okay. with a full band okay and, and that would be wonderful yes please with a full band and um, it's going to be amazing so wow. <laughs> we pray for that wow. uh, you see the man is here we can't just let him go like that we need to feel him we need to enjoy the song how bless the lord Mishire, so let me just switch straight forward to our brother and our friend noah <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, 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 oh. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Every day now, I I will bless the Lord 
at all times i will bless the lord and his praise shall continually be in my mouth oh messi radio messi radio i bring in now messi radio na e i na e i erin sa menum da o Messi Rara Dio, I bring in na Messi Rara Dio, na ye he rain sa menunda amaniemo uhiemo nini namu Messi Rara Dio, I bring in na Messi Rara Dio, na ye he na ye he. A real song, Menunda. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord and His praise and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So the the real story behind the song, you see, um, Psalm thirty four. The time when you, if you have a good Bible, mm. the topic, you see that they've written a theme there. You see, uh, uh, the psalm from David when mm. he changed his behavior mm. in front of Abimelech, who, I mean, who told him to go away from from him. Now, in First Samuel chapter twenty one. When you read chapter 20, first number chapter 20, David, I mean, from 19 downwards, all, I mean, those chapters coming, David had killed Goliath. And so the women are singing his praise. And because of that, Saul generate hatred towards him. And Saul wants to kill David. And so David is running away. And running to and fro, mm-hmm. In chapter 21, first Samuel chapter 21, David get to um, Ahimelech, all right? And when he gets there, the king at Gath and the officers there were astonished, like, is this David not the <laughs> one that killed Goliath? Yeah, and the women were singing his praise. They were like, what is he doing? It? And as at that time, he looked very vulnerable. And I mean, at that particular point in time, he didn't also have any weapon with him. So anybody at all can attack him. Yeah. Because they see him as a king, as a as as a warrior. But at this time he has become so vulnerable that someone that has, I mean, won a victory in time past, all right, and has a I mean, gotten all the praises and all of that, has reduced and to yeah. nothing and is now running away. To the cave, cave of Adullam. So when he got to Gath, he wanted a place to get some food mm-hmm. to even eat because he was hungry. And at that time, those people there went to report mm-hmm. and they wanted to send David to the king. And he, David, was afraid. Can you imagine a king? is afraid. <laughs> someone that has killed someone, he was afraid. And so the Bible says that at that particular moment, he began to behave like he's mad. Mm. So with his beard and letting water come out from his mouth, he started singing, I will bless the Lord oh. at all times. And his praise, exactly. and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So in that situation where David found himself, when he, he's been running away from Saul, and it's like his life is reduced to nothing. nothing. Somebody that is, I mean, accorded with so much respect, so much honor, has killed has killed Goliath. And I mean, you are singing your praises. You can become a king in, in that moment. Has reduced to nothing. So, you know, in our lives, maybe somebody somewhere, you started life so good. Everything was just fine. Mm. And all of a sudden, you don't know what happened. Things just came down. You've lost everything. 
in that situation that is what david found himself mm. and he still wrote psalm 34 mm. i will bless the lord at, at all, all times. times and his praise shall continually be in my because at that particular moment if he had revealed himself like i'm still the david the king you could have been killed yeah and he could have also he was actually been ridiculed by the officers yeah. there that this man the son is praising look at him now is it not david mm. but in that situation he had to change his behavior as if he's a he's a madman yeah he's a nobody and then in that situation he still gave praises to god and wrote psalm 34 i will bless the lord at all times so maybe you are watching you i don't know what you are going through i don't mm. know what might be the situation maybe you want a child you want a job you want you want to be employed somewhere you started so well you have such a, a good money but then everything you've lost everything hey i want you to know that someone has been in your shoes before mm. and he was still able to praise god mm. and he was still able to bless the lord and say mm. i will bless the lord at all times so you don't have to cry you don't have to let the devil think that he's winning you don't know because we have the victory even in that situation where you find yourself that seems that no help is coming that it looks as if that you look to the left and you look to the right and it looks as if everyone has rejected you mm. still put your praise on mm. and sing to god i will bless the lord at all times and let his praises be in your mouth continually and see the victory that the lord will give you god bless you Wherever you're watching from, go and shift the song, get the song. I believe that's going to be a blessing. Wow. Wow, that was powerful. But like I said, it's a wonderful song. Mm. And it's it's currently out on YouTube. Mm. As we speak, the video it has a visual, so it's out on YouTube. Uh the the audio uh will be out very soon on all that's the streaming right. platforms. So please uh, watch out. If you want to stream it on Amazon, uh Boomplay, iTunes, uh Deezer, uh, audio mark wherever just watch out for it but as we speak the video is out on youtube it's a visualizer so it's out on youtube the name is nan no one can question no one. You are. <laughs> <laughs> why did i say nana <laughs> noah kweku buache yadom noah kweku buache yadom so please go on youtube search for noah Kweku Bwachi Yadam and then you see a fine gentleman. A very fine gentleman. And subscribe to his channel. Very important. And mm. please share the video. Like, comment. Let him know <clears throat> that you appreciate the gift of God upon his life. Mm. And I believe as we do so, the message of Jesus Christ That's will be right. preached to the entire world. Any new projects? yes any, any upcoming so, project yes please. so i have a single my let me say my maiden single that it's coming up which is um titled um the healing anthem mm -hmm. i recorded it um from my um for my live worship experience last year okay yes please so um it's it will be it will be on the on the streaming platforms yeah, very soon it's uh it's titled the healing anthem mighty healer um, that's the meaning of the songs. When we read Matthew, the Bible says that after Jesus preached in Galilee, he healed all kinds of diseases. So if we believe in Jesus, healing is, is our, our heritage. Portion, yeah. It's our it's 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 part of our heritage. And so anybody that is sick, I believe that that song, when it comes out, everything that looks like no working, when you play that song and you sing it, the healing Jesus will heal everything that is sick in your life. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's what um, I mean coming up. That's what is coming up very soon, and it's it's an amazing song that everyone should watch um, out for. Watch out for, bro. Before we bring everything to an end, mm. any particular person you want to appreciate? Yeah, a lot. Okay, <laughs> a lot. So I want to thank um, um, Prophet Chris Amasa and his wife okay. Portia Amasa. Okay. Oh. They have been so 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 helpful to me. Yes, please. This um, recording that we did, he's he's the one who actually brought it up. Oh. One time we were there and he said, Noah, I I want to I want to organize some mini sets. Let's 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 yeah. do some shoots. And he did it for me for free. Oh, it's God not bless. just only that. It's not just only that. He has done several recordings. Mm -hmm. 
video shoots night this man will not sleep and he will stay at night sometimes i'll be seated by him and he's even sleeping his phone can fall <laughs> off and he will still be editing the videos on his phone mm. so this one he edited everything by himself oh. recorded everything by himself at his his living room yeah. and uh, everything like he sits down to mix and master them he's been he's been so much a blessing to me that i don't know but from i mean i mean 2020 2023 2024 mm. i would say that <laughs> god actually brought um In him and way. his wife into my life to be that destiny of us for oh. me yes please so i really want to thank him that from the very depth of my heart i am so 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 grateful to um prophet chris amasa and his wife Portia, chris amasa i love them so much god richly blessed them and i believe that um, as they've been a blessing to me, mm. God will also use me to be a blessing to them okay. in a multiple way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, please. And I also want to thank Reverend Samuel Kwame Sassum for his um, messages and training me with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm. Yes, please. He actually taught me the word of God. Okay. Yes. Um, I've, I've, I've been with him for... Um, 2018, 2017, 2018 to 2022. And I mean, the word of God that he has instilled in my heart has been so amazing. And I want to bless God for his life. I also want to thank Pastor Paul Lamarco, yes, please, of Limitless Church. He's also been a blessing to my life. When I completed school and I was doing my national service, after my national service, he helped me to train me mm. in, in, in so many ways, ministerially, so many things that the man of God really has done for me, his wife and the Limitless Church family. I'm so grateful. Prophet Joseph Amo, I lived with him in Takrade for more than 10 years. Yes, please. He was the man of God that took me from my parents. Yeah. Yes, please. So. <laughs> I'm also grateful to him and Apostle Richard Kwame Usu and Reverend Charles Kavana Boachi of Jesus Generation Ministries in Asen Kregua. And then also my father, my father, my father, Papa, um, Prophet Bernard L. Bernard yeah, Nelson Nishen, Apostle Vincent Bannerman, Prophet Isaac Akoli, and all the pastors and the members at SRM. I thank them. I thank um, Petra. I thank Minister Igwe, Frank, and all the ministers in the SRM. I'm so grateful to them. Okay, and go. I thank my friend who also made it possible <laughs> for me to be here. Also for Prophet Ni. Yes, please. Um, Sam is new so so i also thank him so much and then i thank sir ike for allowing me to be here <laughs> like the free opportunity you've given me to grant me this interview too i'm so grateful thank you You're so welcome. much i may not have been able to mention all the names yes. but i am so 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 grateful i thank my parents too <laughs> i can't forget about them i thank my mom and dad my mom and dad has been the reason for my singing mm. they raised me with music i mean right from age six my dad will let me sing alto mm. in the church choir and so my dad has been so 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 great like instrumentally mm. in, in my music ministry so i thank him i thank we, everyone we bless God. so if someone wants to follow you on social media what are your handles oh the same name on all social media noah kukubwachi yadom so on instagram is noah underscore kweku underscore wachi underscore yadom okay. and on facebook noah kukubwachi yadom my fan page and then my ministry page is okay. on tiktok is n.k.b.y nkby so i use the initials okay nkby okay. on tiktok and then on youtube the same thing twitter i'm not really a twitter fan <laughs> 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 all right uh no i thank you so much for i'm grateful for the opportunity show. I'm grateful for the opportunity. But before we let you go, this year is an election year. Yes, Any please. particular message? You've been a youth 
any particular message you, you, yeah. you want to pass across to the youth yes, uh, this is your camera please oh, okay so um all that i want to say is um, god chooses his leaders and to rule nations right it's it's, it's right in the bible all right so um, the Bible also makes us understand that we respect um, our leaders who rule over us. Okay, so um, church leaders, leaders of nation, are our leaders. Okay, so we are going to do the voting to select um, the right leader whom we do we deem fit to uh, lead us and rule us. Okay, so go out there peacefully. Take your your card and go out there peacefully and go and vote. And come home. If you are going for a rally, if you are going for a campaign, make sure it's 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 fun. It excites. It's exciting. I mean, you are enjoying it. You are not going to trample upon anyone toes. You are not going to say something that will be. I mean, an insult to anybody. But I mean, we are all trying to choose one leader to lead us. So go in peace. It's one Ghana. We have only one place to leave mm. us um, a country we don't have anywhere to go mm. i love america and i probably would have loved to be there but actually i won't ever hone in it uh if beggar beggar you can't compare it to by ram and so home is home and so let's let's um keep maintain peace in our country and i think it will be good for all of us go out there vote cast your vote and come home peacefully see your family <laughs> thank you so much thank you Noah. yes sir. Uh, we are so uh, grateful for your coming today I'm, I'm and then, uh, we wish you the very best yes please. we hope oh bless the lord make sure that it goes far today it will go the entire world amen yeah amen amen, amen. so folks this has been chat with say with your brother and your friend sir isaac uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell notification so that anytime uh, we upload anything new, you get a chance to do the watching and listening right here in the studio of Hypes Media uh, together with us. Thank you so much. I will see you in our next episode. But before I go, don't forget that I love you. But one thing you must never forget is that Christ loves you more than I do. Right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.